So, this coronavirus got people all kinds of crazy. I was in the store yesterday. I did go do some grocery shopping. Thank God I'm plant-based slash vegan, whatever you want to call me. So there was plenty of stuff for me. Um, nobody wants to touch the, the fake meat. No one wants to touch the fresh vegetables. But the racks were all bare. The meat department was bare. It was like Albertsons was trying to become Whitney Houston going, I have nothing, nothing. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a little surreal. People talking about how this is going to be this generation's 9-11. These, these, these young people have never experienced anything. I don't know, but it might be because in the 1970s, you had the big the gas shortage and all the lines, and that was their big thing. But then you also had the 70s, and you also had the JFK. So we'll see. Time will tell. Life is changing. People are being more cognizant. Maybe people will actually stay home when they're sick. But I'm using this time very, very wisely. I'm using this time to expand on the hobbies that I seem to neglect whenever I've life hits you. I have spent more time in the garden. I actually sat on my sewing machine a little bit more. Um, I've cooked a little bit more. I've cleaned a little bit more. And these things, although cooking and cleaning, ugh, no one wants to do them, but these are things that are lost. Some people just figure, oh, I'm just gonna pay the maid to do it. Oh, I'm just gonna go buy an Uber Eats. These are skills, these are life skills that have been lost on this generation. So using the time wisely that you have, you're like, hey, I've got two weeks in the house, you might as well clean it. Hey, I got two weeks, I might as well learn a new recipe. I might as well learn to sew these, to put these buttons back onto this jacket. These are skills that I think are lost on this generation. And believe it or not, these are skills that I never learned growing up. My mom and dad were very, very quick to be like, no, those are female skills. You don't do those skills. You don't sew, you don't cook, you don't clean. You're gonna find yourself a wife and she's gonna do these things for you. And okay, fine. But as I turned into an adult and I decided that I wanted to learn these skills for myself, I went ahead and taught myself these skills. I have made costumes, I make my bandana that you guys see me wear, I made that. So these little tiny things that, that you do, I ended up making some mesh screens for some mason jars so that I can make some sprouts. I've never done sprouts. I thought, you know what, this is an opportunity for me to learn a new skill in the kitchen. And besides, I get tasty food. I mean, hello, who doesn't want something tasty? Hello. Just saying, use this time wisely. Like I said, put a garden in, pick up a new hobby, spend time with your kids. This is going to be a giant reset. I don't, I've never been a big fan big believer in conspiracy theories, but something big is going down. Something big is going to happen. And we just kind of have to sit tight and enjoy the time we have because for the next couple years, you may not have the next two weeks off because of some virus that decided to come down and out of China. And these people are having a meltdown over the president calling it the, the Kung flu or the Wuhan China flu. The truth is, is it comes from China. And all the people who are over there going, oh, you called it the Wuhan China flu. I'm gonna ask you one question. What color is your president? Hmm? What color? Because if you answer anything other than white, then you're a hypocrite. People over here calling President Trump orange, calling him a Cheeto, calling him this, calling him that. And then they wanna clip the pearls. Oh, he said Wuhan flu. Get the fuck out of here. Anyways. I will see you guys later. I've noticed that you guys are all doing lots of lives. I'm going to be watching all your lives, but I did get a new release of a new video game and I am totally stuck. I love you all. I will see you guys later.